In a little under two months, Studio 397 will be releasing Lama Ultimate, a simulation-based racing game on the historic 24-hour of Lama. All is well, kind of, apart from one new little problem. This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Automobilista 2. Now, the question on everybody's mind today is why are we playing a nearly four year old game? And the reason is actually in front of you. We are racing in the historic, maybe not historic, but we are racing the brand new Porsche 963, part of the free, temporarily, Endurance Pack 1, which includes, like I said, the Porsche 963 on the amazing Le Mans track. And also, there are a few other cars being added, part of the LMDH category, which would be the BMW M Hybrid V8 and the Cadillac V-Series R. There are a couple of other cars being added as well, part of the uh, GT3 Gen 2 uh, category, I suppose, which is the... Give me a moment while I take this chicane. So we've got the BMW M Ford McLaren 720S Evo. 2023 Mercedes AMG G GT3 Evo and the Porsche 992 GT3R. Again, all part of that uh, Endurance Pack 1. So like I said, why are we necessarily talking about all of this today? And that's because, like I was saying in the beginning, Le Mans Ultimate is coming out in just two months. Now, already... It's going to be kind of an interesting release. I'm really interested. I'm trying my best to closely follow the development and all the news going around uh, Studio 397. As many of you know, Studio 397 is owned by the Notorious Motorsport Games, which has had an incredible amount of turmoil recently, losing the NASCAR license, the IndyCar license, the IndyCar game has been essentially canned, the car is going back to iRacing because of all this mess. And in the middle of all of this, of this internal pressure and all these critics uh, talking about the demise of motorsport games, the poor developers in Studio 397 are going, am I even going to be able to eat next week? On top of, you know, developing a game. So I... Honestly, first and foremost, I want to say my heart goes out to the developers. I hope that they're safe and sound and are hopefully not going to be part of these layoffs that will potentially come their way because of the mismanagement of higher-ups way above them. But at the end of the day, too, being a little bit selfish, since they are the creators of R-Factor 2, and it is highly rated on Steam. I imagine that they have it in them to make a fairly decent game. Am I expecting it to be perfect on release? Absolutely not. I'm hoping that they have enough money left over after release to be able to continue to keep their jobs and to continue being able to support the game after launch and have many potentially necessary bug fixes and patches to come down the line. So back to this. Like I said, it couldn't have come at a worse time for the developers at Studio 397 because we have an overwhelmingly positively reviewed game on Steam that releases some Lamad content within your marketing window for your brand new game. Now, I'll be completely honest, like I said, I may have made mention about this. I have never actually played Automobilista 2 before. I've owned it in my Steam library for years because I was able to get it for cheap. 
and I am having an insane amount of fun right now. I'm going to be quite frank. This is a very well-developed game and being able to finally race as some hypercars from the 24 hour Lama is really, really special because as it, you can tell with some of my channel content, I play a lot of Gran Turismo 7. So I've done a lot of the Lama circuit and the only car that I've been really able to race as is the Toyota hypercar, which is amazing in its own right. But it's not as iconic as this Porsche 963, which is now currently a Lego set. Some diehard Le Mans fans are probably going to come at me and say, like, what are you joking? It's the to This is the Toyota car that has been dominating for years and years and years on. And what do you mean it's not as iconic? Well, I'll also say that Toyota is probably not as iconic as that Ferrari 499P that came out and completely wiped the floor with everybody's face during the Le Mans race itself. Now that is something that we are not getting in this DLC pack yet. Of course, it says Endurance Pack 1 or Part 1. So I imagine hopefully that we will see a Part 2 which releases, I don't know, Vanwell. Maybe the Toyota hypercar. I'm really hoping for that Ferrari. That thing is beautiful, and I want it in Lego set form, and I just want it in my blood and in my veins. I want it. I just want it in my life. <laughs> it's such a cool car. So getting back to the topic at hand, the main kind of issue that we're having right now is you have a known entity that has been out for nearly four years, releasing Lama content. And you have a brand new game that, yes, it is by a legendary studio that has had many years of working on, you know, R-Factor 2. It's releasing a game in an incredibly tumultuous time for their overhead company. And it's yet to be proven we haven't really seen any gameplay footage yet, and it's barely two months out. And that's, as people who have followed the gaming industry know, that is a huge, huge problem. I mean, hell, days ago, we just finally saw what the Ferrari 499P is going to look like in-game. So, I mean, with Auto Modiesta 2, you're getting a known game. Yes, for four years old, a $40 price tag is a little bit steep, but the amount of content that you're getting in it is not just Lama. You're getting a full simulation game with loads of classes of cars, with even going back to historic F1 and Indy cars. Plus, because this game has been out for so long, it's commonly on the Steam sale, which is why I was able to pick it up for, what, under $20? And then, like I said, we've got Lama Ultimate coming out. It is by a very well-known development studio that I imagine a lot of people do have some fairly good trust in. But if we were to get just Lama Cars and the Lama series in it, we don't even know what price it's going to be yet. We don't know if it's going to be... If it's going to be for a $40 game, that might be all right. My concern is that in order to recoup development costs, that it could be released as a 60 no, $70 game now. And if that's the case, I will pick it up just to review it and then immediately return it because... I don't have $70 these days to be dropping on every brand new AAA game to come out. One that we don't even have, like, complete knowledge of yet. I mean, yeah, the graphics look nice. But that's kind of just the standard these days when it comes to racing games. So, yeah, I am very, 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 very interested to see what happens in the next two months.
I want to be hopeful. But, I mean, I was very hopeful for Sports Motorsport. And we know how that turned out. Yes, we've had games that have come out of nowhere, like Baldur's Gate 3, which are incredibly well-optimized, and it's just a really good game. But when your overarching, overarching company is going through such a tumultuous time, I can't help but to be just a little bit skeptical. Am I wrong for being skeptical? I don't know. So let me know uh, your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys are hopeful for Lamar Ultimate, or if you are thinking that it's going to be a ripoff, or again, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And again, if you enjoy this content and want me to be playing more of Automobiliesta 2, which I would not be opposed to, I'll be quite frank. This is actually really fun. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, we'll see you guys next week when we review Sports Motorsport again, but with a little bit of a twist. So again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.